here with all as well. I'm here with my uh, homie Randall Ajay, the author of uh, I Am Not My Struggle. Um, also, he's a uh, founder of RISE, a uh, nonprofit organization. I'm not going to get into all that. He, we're going to touch on all that. Um, Randall, you know, thank you for making time for us. I know you're busy. You just came back from uh, where, where are you? Atlanta. What's going on out there? Uh, there's an A3C conference in Atlanta, and that's for, for a lot of music executives, people who are in the music industry, you okay. know, doing their thing, and uh, just really being able to network with other people. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's dope. How long were you out there for? I was out there for four days. It's fun, man. Honestly, mm -hmm. I love Atlanta. Atlanta's a fun place to be, man. We're going to get into place. that because you touched on uh, this is just the vibe you got it. Because I see on your story, you're like, I'm leaving because I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Back in the back in the nineties I had my home uh home nickname was Logan. Yeah. He right of Wolverine. Okay. And he was on uh I don't know if you ever heard of um, Doctor York. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he was on that from them times. This is before I even knew about the more issues like that information. But he was okay. sick, he had to have these things going on out there and one thing I remember is some some somebody said like the percentage of people out there was like you know, back back then when I thought, you know, I you know, I don't feel that way, yeah. but I see, you know, it could be beneficial where it's like ninety eight percent uh quote unquote black people out there, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I was like, damn, mm -hmm. it's like that out there because back then I'd go to New York, oh man, I feel so nice there. So yeah. I can imagine, you know, I would be in Atlanta. Atlanta man. So I've always wanted to go to Atlanta. Plus um back in the days, um TLC was from Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, they had a crush on Chile. Yeah, man. They had a crush on Chile. Yeah, of man. course. You know? Yeah, you know? Of course. But, uh, but yeah, so see you say that, I was like, Psh, I, know, I, I know exactly what you feel. I didn't, I ain't gone there yet, I know exactly how you feel. It's real. You know, you're like, Yo, I might move out here. <laughs> serious though, man. <laughs> serious, I can't lie. The vibes, the energy, the people. A lot of just, and people just want to. Like you said, you met one of your favorite artists too. Yeah, I got to meet Buddy, man. Okay, Buddy okay. Was, I didn't even, like, I never even heard of him. Like, I'm yeah. slow on, on the music. It's all I'm good, man. Front. He's not, he's not out there like that, mm -hmm. but you know, he's he signed to Pharrell. Okay, he's just done some new music with Nipsey Hustle, okay, with okay. Uh, uh, a lot of people, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people, you'd be okay. surprised how much music he did. Some J. Cole. Um, yeah, man, a lot of, a lot of artists you've okay, done okay, work with, okay, man. Okay. That was dope that you got to experience that. That was beautiful. That was incredible, man. I, was man. I gotta say. I was like, yo, you already do it. Yeah, so you're like, yo, man, you gotta really walk your path. Like, I remember when I did this walk, talk the other day to, to these children from the midnight basketball camp. They had mm -hmm. them all talk to them. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was emphasizing, like, you know, work, walking your path. Totally. You know what I mean? Don't totally. get thrown off your path because when we were born, we might have been a millisecond, but that was your time and space. And yeah. You gotta stick with that. And as we get older, you know, as ch as infants, we in within that. Yeah. You know, toddlers maybe, but then as we get older, we get distracted, thrown up by so many things. So it's you know trying to stay within the path. But um, um, no further ado, let's let's get into it. Um, again, Randall J, author of uh, I Am Not My Struggle. Uh, my name is Landry Mugunde Bay. Uh, 27 letter podcast so let's start it up like who's your mother like when I ask when I ask people this question it's just to when I, for me in order to start your story you gotta start with your mother you know what I mean for real so like, who's your mother and boom what she means to you and so on and so forth and what you have to go to get to where you're at right now yeah. you know just a little brief I mean, my mom is probably one of the most hard work, hardest working, humble, uh, patient her people I've ever met in my life. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, man, she's somebody who sacrificed a whole lot to bring my family, you know, to Canada. My brothers weren't born here, uh, but she brought all three of them here, uh, helped bring my pops here, and you know, because of her. I got nieces and nephews, you know, there's a whole legacy, a whole generation that's created just because she worked hard. Mm -hmm. She worked in a factory for 15 years, and so... Up here? Uh, up here, mm -hmm. just not too far from here, at um, a pharmacy. Okay. And she's just somebody who just had a vision, you know, she just knew what she was about. She's a very, like, spiritual, religious person. 
Um, so she's big on church. That's you know that's her. But I think one thing I appreciate about mom, my mom is that she's always had a vision, and her vision was you know just just being a light in the family. You know, she's the reason why everyone's connected. Big. So, I don't know, man. She's just a beautiful person. You know. She has siblings, right? My mom? Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah, a So uh, where is she in the, the total pool? She's the oldest, youngest? I think she's the third oldest among her siblings. How many is there? I think there's like eight of them. Eight? Wow. wow yeah. Wow, wow. And her mom died when she was young, too. Her mom was giving birth to her youngest wow. uh, sibling, and her mom passed away giving birth to her youngest sibling. Okay, okay. So yeah, she she lost her mom early. Okay, so she, she, she carried a lot of the weight. She for carried a lot of the weight for the family, but she traveled a lot. My mom also traveled. She went to like Saudi Arabia. She went to different parts of the world. Okay. Um, to work or just to live? Uh, to work. She went to Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Egypt. So the Middle East uh, to work and then she sent money back home to the family. So I always believe that traveling gives you a different perspective. But Based off of that, like, so a lot of people get educated within whatever region they grew up in. Yeah. But once you actually get out of the region and manifest it in and go outside the world, there's, there's a little cap going on where they'll just teach you only certain things or narrow minded, prejudiced stuff that they yeah. teach you. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's real. I was, you know, quote unquote, I know about the continent, Africa, Nigeria, all those places. I know about it. Mm -hmm. When I, moved over here when we migrated over here like i had no idea that there were people starving in this place that i came from mm -hmm. but the perception is over here that was being shown on, on the tv screen was like people flies in the place like, yeah, yeah yeah i was like Ooh. yeah i don't remember seeing none of that <laughs> so it's like yo so i could imagine with her traveling what yeah. she's able to teach you guys about sure. you know what i mean yeah, and, man. Oh. Yeah, she's a wealth of knowledge, man. Okay, she's okay. she's experienced a lot. She speaks like five different languages. Wow. Do you speak? I speak Ghana, which okay. is the language we speak in, in Ghana. But okay. she speaks three three languages from Ghana. Okay. English, uh, French, and then she speaks uh, um, Arabic. So she speaks six languages, actually. Wow. Yeah, man. She's... Yeah, man. I don't, know how she, I don't know how she does it, man. She just... Yeah, she's a beautiful person, man. But was the last time you seen her? Uh, last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last week. I seen her. I talked to her almost every day. Every other day, you know, we're, we're we're chatting. So I'm big on that, you know, like you know, like matriarchy. Yeah. You know, just always be connected to the sure. source. You know, that's the Holy Grail. If we talk about where's the Holy Grail, that is the Holy Grail. Yeah. Once you manifest. Straight man. So, um, so what was your you? Born here, right? Born in Canada. Yeah. yeah. What was your upbringing like? I was born here in Canada, and then my mom, uh, well, they sent me back home to Ghana when I was one years old. So I grew up there for about five and a half years, almost six years there. So where you went out there? I was staying with my auntie. Um, I was staying with my auntie and uh, another woman that was taking care of me at the time. Okay. How was that experience like? Uh, I mean, I was still young, so I don't remember all the details, but one thing I do remember is, you know, obviously missing my mom because it was a really, I was really young at the time, and just like experiencing uh, separation from my mom, you know, for a long time. I, the, the woman who was taking care of me, she was really good, my auntie was good too, but they had a business, like they're running a business, you know? So because they're running a business, um, you know, like I, I ended up helping out here and there when I was young, um, but overall it was, it was cool. I think for me, the fact that I speak I still speak my language. The fact that I'm still connected to, you know, to my, my culture and my heritage is what's really most important to me. So, um, yeah, it was good. It has its pros, has its cons. You know, I would have preferred to be raised by my mom being young, but mm -hmm. uh, I guess like I got another mom out there though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So you still stay connected with your aunt? As much as I can. You know, it's tough. It's not easy, but for as sure. much as I can, yeah. For sure. I, I know you're busy yourself, man. Yeah, it's not easy, Thank man. Thank you for making the time. But it's not easy. The man literally just touched back yesterday, like, at 5 p.m., you know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. Let's you know, like, like, make this work, you know? Yeah. I appreciate that. Happens, man. Um, so, what was your adolescent like? Um, I mean, I moved around a, f a few times. So I was living in Flemo at the time okay. when I when I came back from Ghana, 
And then from Flemmel, I think I, I moved to OP right okay. after that. So I lived in Orton Park in Lawrence for a bit. Okay. And then after OP, I was in um, uh, Markham and Ellesmere. I lived there for a bit. Okay, okay.